guys welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always watching my video and if you are seeing my face for the first time please subscribe what are you waiting for subscribe turn up your notification bell so whenever i post new videos you'll be among the first to get it so my name is aisha i'm a mom youtuber based in abuja nigeria and from the topic you could you could already tell what we are here to talk about anyways for context sake i'm still going to say i'm here to talk about things i wish i knew before i got married eight years ago yeah i got married almost eight years ago eight years ago by august so if it's something you you would enjoy it's something you would like to watch or something you would like to learn from then please do definitely keep on watching so i brought them down on my phone so that i don't i don't mix them up because this camera thing is still very new so to bear with me if i'm checking through my phone because i wrote them down so first and foremost one thing for sure is what works for me or what works for another person would not work for me what what i realized in my marriage is not what another person realized we are very different people different people have different types of marriages do you understand so you should know that and you should know because i'm saying this she's like ah why didn't i realize this in my own marriage it's different i didn't get married to you didn't get married to me didn't get married to my husband so we are different people so please keep that in mind and whatever it is i say in this video is from my own opinion it's not a one size fits all so please enjoy okay so first and foremost your marriage can be the same with everyone else i said already what works for a might or might not work for b that's very sure like and then i don't know I, now muslim couples actually go through counseling before marriage we didn't do that <laughs> i didn't even know there was counseling Maybe if I had don't gone for counseling, maybe some things that I realized later in my marriage and that caused some issues wouldn't have caused those issues. But we learn, we live, we learn. So that's the first one, right? And then the second one, at this point, I'm not sure if the second one or third one. No this and no peace. <laughs> your husband cannot have the same behavior as your father. You cannot be comparing your dad with your husband in some cases some people that have brothers that have been married before they got married for me none of my brothers were married before i got married so i would always compare my husband to my dad like my dad would do this my dad would do that why are you not doing it ha <laughs> ha my dear don't do that your father and your husband they are not the same person even if it's your father that gave birth to your husband your husband cannot have the same behavior as your father so please realize that on time know that before you get married that your father and your husband cannot be the same it's not possible don't compare them if not oh <laughs> my dear your husband has a different upbringing you guys were brought up by different individuals you guys cannot have the same behavior we should even know this by now that unlike i be what's that thing Two different poles are, are, are attracts. The same type of people don't get married to each other. So you should already know that before you start giving yourself ethic, that your husband cannot have the same behavior as you do. You guys will have opinions, different opinions, extremely different opinions about things. As in extremely different opinion, you will be at hey your point hey, your husband will be at Z, like is that far? Like twenty-four alphabets are far. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So you and your husband can't have the same behavior. It's not possible. Realize that before you get married, so you don't have trouble. And <laughs> have a life of your own. Nobody in this life can complete you. Not ah married now. There are some women that when they get married, they start um letting go of friends. I'm a married woman, I can't have friends. My dear, your husband will live his own life, he'll still have his own friends, he'll still hang out with his own friends. So you just be dear. You you swell up before you come back from work. You say, where are you coming from? Say, I went out now with my boys. Say, Which boys? You, when you have already chased all your girls away. It's better. Even if 
they are married keep your friends women need friends we need friends everybody needs friends even if it's not friends like people are always telling each other each other's secret but at least someone to talk to you get you 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 you, are, you need to have a life of your own your life is your life don't go and say ah i'm married now i don't need friends so i'm married now no 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 my husband is my friend your husband should be your friend yes but you still you still need friends because trust me your husband will still have his friends you still hang out and then you'll now be feeling left out that's when you now things are no issues you'll be saying you went out in money you do not do not you do not take me along oh blah 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 it's good yeah your husband would hang out but when he wants to hang out like okay this brings me to another point self-space is really really necessary it feels it you you think because you guys are married now you have to be in the same space all the time you have to hang out with the same set of people why have your own space let your husband have his own space so that you guys there will be self-respect i don't know i don't know if i'm communicating but that's that's just what i realized because i thought one thing for me is i got married very early as in i got married at a, at a young age so so these things i learned it in marriage <laughs> so like your own personal space is very very important so that you know you do not feel like your husband or your wife is choking you do you understand if you have your own life you have your own thing you guys are still couples ah, you get that's that's it child. that's and please note all these are my own experience it's not i'm not i'm not a professional at this i'm not I didn't I didn't learn this, I didn't go to school. I learned this in marriage. And my dear, you are getting married and you feel it's my husband and I. Actually we are African because me I'm Nigerian, I'm African. I'm from Kwara State, I'm Yoruba. My husband is a family oriented man. If you are the I'll say I'm married though, eh, it's me and my husband. Ah, my dear. <laughs> Especially if you are mar- married to a family-oriented man, you marry his family. It's not only him you marry. You marry all of them. You marry his sister. You marry his brother. You marry his cousin. You marry all of them, my dear. It, they don't have to be in your marriage, be your issues, but you have to be diplomatic about it. You have to love them like you would. I know it's not easy. In-law relationship can be very tricky, but you just have to learn. The, your in-laws from their side have to understand that you are coming from a very very different background they are coming from a different background the way you were brought up is different from the way they, they live their life so everybody should come to an understanding that these people are very different to take us a, a bit of time to get to know each other do you understand so it's not it's not my only my husband my this my that whatever works for what that's what works for me my husband. but it's not it's not like that from the beginning of our marriage because i didn't know any better you know there are some there are some things that we should we should know before we get married so those are the points i have i don't know if you if you've been able to take anything from it but then those were my own experience that's what i realized and then my dear if you are the type that have been seeing this things in your marriage please let me know in the comment section what were the things you realized when you got married what were the things you didn't know until you were there before you realized that ah, i'm supposed to be doing this so this one i'm supposed to be doing you know, this all works for me this one this one does not work for me please let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed watching this video please give this video a thumbs up um and comment and please share to your loved ones and thank you for watching